Normal delivery or C-section. What is the best option? Expecting mothers in their pregnancy journey sometimes go through the dilemma of choosing their delivery method. They ask their friends and families for suggestions or look for answers on the internet. One should look into the pros and cons of both vaginal delivery and C-section to decide. Let's explore more on the benefits of vaginal and C-section delivery. Benefits of vaginal delivery over C-section Shorter hospital stay and faster recovery time Mothers are allowed to leave the hospital after 24 to 48 hours in case of vaginal delivery. While strenuous exercises are not suitable for over six weeks, the mother can perform daily activities. In C-section delivery, it can take almost 10 weeks for the surgical scar to heal. So, mothers have to be extra careful about taking precautions and resting. Lesser chances of secondary infections, especially at the surgical site. Hygiene and sanitation are a necessity for either mode of childbirth. Since C-section surgery is major abdominal surgery, special care is given to surgical site care and infection management. Less expensive than C-section. Since the technicalities are more in C-section delivery and the hospital stay is lengthy, this mode of delivery is costly. Not to forget that the post-surgical recovery phase is long, requiring more post-operative consultations. Post-pregnancy care is for a shorter duration after vaginal birth. Possibility of breastfeeding at an earlier stage. Vaginal delivery has a lower chance of scarring, severe bleeding, reactions to medications, and long-lasting pain. Since the mother is healthier and more active, the possibility of breastfeeding early on is more. Fewer complications in future pregnancies after vaginal delivery. A study by PLOS Medicine stated that women who deliver by C-section have a higher chance of having fertility issues, stillbirths, miscarriages, and placenta ruptures in the future. Lower risk of respiratory ailments for the baby. When the child is born via vaginal delivery, the muscles involved help squeeze out the fluids from the child's lungs. Hormonal exchanges also take place during this time, which improves the child's immune system. Benefits of C-section delivery over vaginal delivery Shorter duration of labor According to March of Dimesorg, during vaginal delivery, on average, mothers are under labor for over 6 to 8 hours. Vaginal delivery is painful, exhausting, and physically grueling. C-section, on the other hand, is pain-free and less time-consuming. No vaginal tissue injuries during vaginal childbirth, the possibility of vaginal tissue tears and overstretching of the tissue is high. In some cases, stitches are required to manage the vaginal tears. Childbirth, by this method, can also cause injury to the pelvic and prolonged pain. The chances of vaginal tears are close to nil in a C-section delivery. Low chance of urinary inconsistencies. The journal PLOS Medicine mentions that weakening of pelvic muscles during vaginal childbirth may lead to urinary inconsistency and prolapse of the pelvic organs. Mothers who deliver by C-section have a lower chance of pelvic injuries and complications. Safer for the newborn Trained surgeons who are skilled in both mother and newborn care perform C-sections. Newborn injury can be controlled during C-section delivery, whereas during vaginal birth, if the child's size is large or if there is an obstruction, the newborn may get injuries from the birthing process itself. Situations with only C-section delivery Even though the benefits of vaginal delivery overlook the risks, there are some situations where C-section delivery is the only viable option. These high-risk pregnancy scenarios include Cases where the mother's age is over 35 years or a geriatric pregnancy. Expecting mother is a heavy drinker and smoker. Mother is carrying twins or triplets. Mother has previously had a fewer section delivery. Expecting mother has preeclampsia, blood clotting issues, diabetes, the fetus is underdeveloped or in distress. Role of maternity programs in decision making. 
virtual programs like day-to-day -day healths, maternity care service, for before delivery and post-pregnancy care, can help the expecting mother and her family understand the pregnancy journey. A nursing care coach connects with the mother to monitor her vitals and symptoms, clear doubts, and answer questions about the trimesters and help with antenatal appointment bookings. The mother also gets access to specially curated maternity content on the pregnancy care app since the expecting mother is more involved in her pregnancy care and is aware of her medical condition. She gets in a better position to choose the type of delivery for herself. Thank <laughs> you.